Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most mo major global equity markets are actually slightly uh, sideways in the last couple of sessions. You're able to see that right here. Uh, after reaching all-time highs there just on Tuesday night and following Janet Yellen's testimony, um, everything's just kind of going one one way right now. You do have big directional moves in Japan to the five. We'll cover that in a second. Gold sparking to life ever so slightly, but I'm looking at cable. It's grinding a little bit higher. Your dollar completely sideways and um, dollar yen pretty much the same the same thing. So we're entering a period of potential without any kind of major catalyst, as in you know stellar or really disappointing news one end or the other. It does kind of feel like we're moving into a little bit of a, a, a kind of a period of low volatility right there. So looking at um, eighteen two one six as being the, the the current high. If we do get a, a move lower, you're looking at eighteen one 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 as a potential springboard to move up higher. Um, but there's not nothing major uh, in the pipeline coming along that's uh, you know, non stat in the short term anyway. So looking at the UK one hundred, um, it's uh, obviously I drifted down yesterday, not doing too much today. 6.6.8 is going to be the uh, potential support. So a broken resistance traditionally reverses and becomes a new support level uh, and that could be an area worth looking at. Possibly uh, close to the start of March right there. You can see the MACD is really flattening out as is the RSI and the slow stochastic is just about to go into overbought territory around about that 80% level which is probably one of the only technical factors that would be indicative of, uh, of pressure to move this lower. Um, but 69.6, uh, uh, 06, sorry, is the potential support. So Japan 225, so we're getting a big spike in Japanese equities as their um, big um, government pension scheme is changing the way that they allocate the stocks. I think they uh, are, are committed to buying about 8% of the entire uh, government pension fund in uh, Japanese equities. They just shunted that up to 25%, and that's why Japan 225 is, uh, is bucking the trend and is, is soldiering on there quite nicely. Obviously, the long-term potential resistance we talked about is 8, uh, 20,868, um, breaking through 18,648 right now. That could, is now a broken resistance, now expected to act as potential support. Technicals are, however, quite overbought, but it's been driven a lot by, the, by those fundamental factors right now as well. We had some decent data come out of uh, China yesterday, again today, uh, not like stellar or amazing, but enough just to uh, push things along there nicely. But this is a nice breakout to have there on Japan 25. So moving on to dollar yen, I uh, mentioned before it's moving sideways, we've been doing this for a long time. Uh, 119 is the potential pivot level, nothing much to report there just now. So moving on to West Texas crew, we did have a short term spike yesterday in the back of uh, some Saudi comments regarding um, demand picking up, however we're beginning to drift down again already, we're down almost uh, three quarters of, of a percent. Um, longer term potential resistance still remains at 54 spot 85. Crude oil inventories came out um, bigger than expected yesterday as well, but they're almost nullified by those comments by the Saudi uh, oil minister. Um, but that's maybe adding a little bit of weight onto there as well. So almost record amounts of uh, of crude in storage. Not surprising when it's as cheap as it is just now. Lots of people buying up crude to store it to sell it further on down the line, uh, and that's probably still going to have a little bit add a little bit of weight onto crude prices in the short term. Um, and with the US dollar not doing a huge amount right now. Um, any weakness that you'll see in crude will be more prevalent should the green bat begin to recover uh, on the back of any US macro data, decent macro data coming out. But um, gold is uh, still benefiting from that lack of green bat strength, uh, trying to rechallenge 1218. Uh, almost got the death cross and moving averages to be aware of, but we do have a reversal signal in the slow, st slow stochastic right there, just about to break through that 20% level. RSI never quite went into that same territory, so I'd say it's relatively neutral, but we've almost got a, a bullish crossover on the MACD as well. So a break above uh, 1218 and a close above that might actually open up the, the gate towards uh, 1242. But it all depends on the latest round of US economic data. Uh, today's Thursday, so there's a fair amount of data to talk about. We'll cover that in a second. So moving on to uh, Euro dollar. Um, Euro dollar still trading within this asymmetrical triangle formation. We're waiting for a breakout one way or another. Um, as far as we've been told, the, um, the Greek reforms ha seem to be relatively credible, um, but we're not getting any uh, specific movement on euro dollar just now. It's quite boring in that instance. But moving on to GBP USD, it's going. Um, I guess if you look at the trend, it's actually looking quite quite decent now. Uh, if we just get the drawing tool feature out for now, you can probably draw a 
uh, support uh, support trend line up that direction just now. So one spot 56 is not that far away, and a break above that opens up one spot 57. 43. Almost got a golden cross on the moving averages. The other technicals are moving into slight overbought territory, with, but it's only the slow stochastic that's actually gone there. The RSI still has a little bit of room for manoeuvre, uh, which means a 56 is quite possible. So having a look at the economic data that's due out today, uh, we've already had some German data that came out mildly better than expected. Um, we have uh, UK GDP uh, due out at 9.30 UK time. You've got US uh, CPI and durable goods orders and the unemployment data. Uh, this is a fair amount of data coming out at 1.30 today that's specifically related to the US, which a lot of uh, gold gold traders and people who are interested in the US dollar incidentally will be looking at to get more clues as to the strength of the US economy. And that pretty much is your, is your lot for today. Fast forwarding on to Friday. Uh, German CPI, uh, US GDP, that will be an important one uh, for many traders to look at, so make sure you set your alarms for that at 1.30. And you've got US, the US Housing Index due at 3 o'clock as well. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum for new trade setups from our global analyst team. Make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.